What's up, everybody? So, we're back. Took a little bit of a break. Um, went ahead and redid my garage, kind of cleaned things up, redid some lighting, moved things around. But it's time to finally put the standalone in the car. So, today I'm going to get the factory stuff pulled out, show you all the new sensors and everything that I bought for the standalone, and kind of get everything laid out and get everything apart that I need to take apart on the car to put the new parts in. Alright, so I figured I'll go ahead and get started unhooking everything in the engine bay and then we'll pull the harness back through into the cab and get everything unhooked there and then I'll start undoing the intake manifold and everything like that also in this process because I've got to weld uh, the T-map sensor onto the intake so we'll get started with this and then move on to the inside of the car. Alright, got most of the, or pretty much all of the harness unhooked in the engine bay. Got everything just kind of pulled over to the side. Then unhook my fuel pressure regulator and my swirl pot for my coolant. So next I'll go inside and disconnect the ECU 
and see if I can pull it out through the engine bay. All right, so we're in here inside the car. I'm gonna be removing the methanol injection that I have, but I'll go ahead and get the ECU unhooked up and then try and get everything pulled back through the firewall. All right, well, my camera died, but here's the harness out. I've stripped it down. I've removed most of the emission stuff, so it's pretty basic. Only what I need to run the car, the injectors, coolant temp sensor, distributor, and the MAF, pretty much. So this is what's left of it. I'm going to go ahead and get the standalone stuff pulled out and show you what I have for it. So here is what I have for the standalone. All the parts. I've got new connectors for the injectors, doing LS coils, uh, using a Ford style idle control motor, our TPS, knock sensor, coolant temp. Then we got the connector for the distributor. And then I'm using a three bar TMAP sensor from a uh, I believe it's like a ZR1 Corvette or something like that. Uh, boost control solenoid, flex seal sensor, and then it's a trim switch for control and boost. And then some Deutsch connectors. This is um, braided sleeving for the uh, distributor pickup to keep from having any interference in anything. And I've just got these crimps for crimping any uh, wires together. Then I'm using some TechFlex loom. And then I'm going to label everything with this heat shrink. Um, so I can label all my connections. So if anybody else other than me has to work on the car, they at least know what all the connections are. And then I've got this Haltech uh, boot for the wiring harness to go through the firewall. And then I've just got some generic heat shrink for um, putting on the end of the loom to keep everything from fraying. And then some clear heat shrink to put over the labels so they don't get damaged from anything rubbing or uh, any kind of fluids that get spilled on the harness. And I'm sure I'm going to add a few other things like maybe a fuel pressure sensor. This is pretty much what I have at the moment. So now I'm going to get this harness all planned out, figure out exactly how I'm going to run everything, try and get it all documented on paper. So if I have to go back in and work on the harness, I know what everything is. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So next I got to go through and figure out exactly uh, what inputs and outputs I want to use. And then we'll go from there. So here are my two harnesses. I've got everything uh, separated. This is mostly the output. So I've got uh, the pairs of injector and coil wires uh, bunched together. And then of course all the grounds. And then on this side I've got um, most of the inputs that go to the engine on this side. CAN bus here, and then this is everything that stays in the cab. I'll probably add a few more things into the harness. But that's pretty much what I've got at the moment. And then I've got to figure out how I want to route everything, but I'm not going to uh, go through that right now. This is pretty much all I'm doing for today. But next time, I'll show you how I'm going to get the links of my wires, how I'm going to route everything, and try and keep it as clean as possible. 
But that's all for today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And have a good night.